There are millions of dogs that share our world. Dogs of all different shapes, sizes, and skill sets. Some are the perfect pet, while others the perfect companion. Here on Devoted to Dogs, we wish to share our passion for man's best friend by talking with the people who are truly devoted to their canine, canine companions. companions. Hey guys, welcome back to Devoted to Dogs. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Mine's going awesome, thanks. Today we have this special interview with Lori Sales and Ruben the Weimaraner, and I think you're really gonna love it. She's a fantastic person, a fantastic trainer, and has a lot of really good information. So let's uh, sit back and enjoy that. Here we go. I'm Lori. I'm a certified nose work instructor with Manitowoc County Kennel Club. This is Ruben. He is a Weimaraner. He's nine years old. He's a breed champion, grand champion, and he does nose work and tracking. He's a very good hunter, but he doesn't like to do it, so we don't do it. And he's a very good couch cuddler, and he's my big guy. Good dog. Ruben is one of my puppies. He's from my fifth litter, so I made him. <laughs> At home, his job is to just follow me around and make sure mom is doing things right, make sure mom is okay all the time. That's what he does at home, but he really seems to like the nose work, so we've spent a lot of time on that. And because of his age, nose work is excellent because there's no jumping, there's no running, there's no stress on him. He can do that for the rest of his life. Yeah. They are an extremely loyal and versatile breed. They're for hunting. They're upland game hunting pointers. They're with you all the time. They're very conscious of you, very family oriented. They can do everything. They can hunt, they can retrieve, they can do agility, they can do tracking. Just anything you could put in front of them, they can do. He'll joke around with you. He's very intuitive if I'm having a bad day or if I don't feel quite right or I'm upset about something, he's right here. I got you, Mom, you're okay. I can tell with him too, just by looking at his face if he's upset about something or something isn't right. One of the other dogs did something wrong and I didn't see it. He's tattles on him. The main thing you need to know is these guys need exercise and they need to be with their people. They're not for everybody because they're very clingy and they're extremely smart. So you have to be on your toes. <laughs> and I've got three of them and they can double team me quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm learning. <laughs> this is not a dog that just goes and lays on the couch. They need to have a job, whether it's hunting or biking or obedience or something. They need to do something and have a, a self-worth. So if you can't <laughs> spend the time and do, you know, stuff with them, this isn't the dog. Then get something else that just lays and all you have to do is feed them and they don't care. Just want to say something about the nose work. I've been doing it for about four years. I'm very impressed with it. I've had dogs come in the class that have never done anything, that are afraid of people, they're afraid to walk in this building, they're afraid of other dogs. And because of the way nose work is set up, within six months to eight months, They've worked through that. They've gained their confidence through the hunting, and it's like a whole different dog. There's a whole program through National Association of Scent Work Dogs with humane societies that someone will come in like on a Saturday and work with some of their dogs and teach them nose work with the boxes. And they're finding that brings the confidence out and it gives them something to do and those dogs are being adopted out like three times as fast as the other ones because they aren't just laying in a you know cage doing nothing. I'm very thrilled with the nose work. And any age dog, any breed dog, any person, even if you haven't had training with obedience or anything, it's even better if you don't have obedience, really. Just let the dog get out there and do what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. 